Hi, I'm Keith Cotter, and here's what's new in HSP Design 25 for AutoCAD. During the next few minutes, I'm going to take you through some of the interesting features that are going to enhance your design experience using HSP Design 25. I'm going to look in areas of validations, extensions, exports, DSL, licensing, and just some general design tools that will make your life so much easier. I should note that everything I explain and more are all covered in our HSB Academy and I welcome you to take a good look there and enjoy what you're about to see. So first up, let's take a look at validations. Here you'll see some improvements on the validation UI with the scripting of validation and full multilingual support. There are many new validations as seen here, as well as some of the existing validations which have a lot of improvements now added to them as well. This is all useful because it makes your checking process a lot more optimal and thus reduces error before it gets to the production environment. Some of those validations, as you can see here, for example, master panel compatibility allows you to check the thickness of a child panel that it equals the thickness of a master panel. Or maybe the nail spacing is valid, which essentially you do not want to have any nailing on your panel that is going above and beyond what maybe your structural engineer has defined. So that's validation and it's worth having a good look and see how they can help you in your process. So next up is exporters and extensions. I'm delighted to state that we now fully support the next generation of CNC export BTLX and we currently support version 1.1 and 2 of this BTLX export. We have some updates also in the extension manager to support your export and some of these are with you very useful tools like being able to copy and paste your settings from one group to another group and in HSB Design 25 we've also added as you can see here many new extensions that make that process of exporting even more powerful again. Again all of these are fully documented in HSB Academy and I urge you to get in there and explore what some of those extensions can do for you. So as we move on, let's take a look at what Excel reporting allows for us in HSB Design 25. In Excel, we have a very powerful new addition to row querying, and that is it will allow you now to auto-complete and syntax adding to all the queries. So now it means that your query building has become so much easier compared to how you used to do before. Fourth up, we're going to take a look at TSL. To best appreciate TSL, I would currently urge you to again look in HSB Academy because we have fully documented how each of these TSLs are working. And there you will see, as shown here, many of these TSLs which will make your design process so much quicker and faster. Look forward to working with these and you'll understand what I'm saying. Fifth up is licensing and updating. Today you can now fully install HSB Bomblink, HSB Multiwall or HSB Export standalone from HSB Design and that is thanks to what we call our HSB Design Components Installer. And this will now be also fully licensed and secure within your environment. And when you just thought that subscriptions, that they are about to expire, and how often have you got caught where you've only got maybe one day left in your subscription, is now a thing of the past because we now by default have built in a 14 day lead in period where it will consistently remind you when your subscription is about to expire. So finally, all we now need to look at is those general updates 
in HSB Design 25. Unique identifiers, better known as GOOD, is supported as we know already at drawing level, but I'm also now excited to tell you we can fully support it at entity handle level, meaning that each entity that you design in HSB Design 25 has its own unique GOOD as well. What does that mean? It makes merging of data from other sources so much easier today. And then some of these, what I would call more minor changes in HSB Design 25, but also powerful would be like clash detection. It now has the ability to be able to split when two beams are clashing together. Or you might have a 3D solid that has a profile on it and you can convert that profile into a free profile entity and edit it. Or for example, you have a panel and you want to flip the reference side of a panel. But there are many more and there are many more tools that you should explore if you install today HSB Design 25 for AutoCAD. Thank you for watching and I hope that we will get to see you soon in future sessions.